Next module is a separator. You might ask, hey Eric, why do you need a separator? Because you have already separated this line here, those lines, those are the separators between the modules. Where are those? All the way up and maybe just press find separator, control F. And this is the standard operator of a separator in I3. So that's correct. So if we say, let's take a separator, Eric, safe, he's gonna make here Eric and Eric and Eric and so on. So yes, we have indeed the standard one in each desktop. But what if for some reason you might want to have a separator, a special one, just to get two things uh, separated, just for that reason, um, almost there. Here it is. So again, here we can use as well something else and the something else can be anything. So I'm going back to font awesome, the cheat sheet. And you can say I can use this little icon here or that icon or I'm going to use this one. Why not circles? Up here there was somewhere an Apple icon. Why not that one? So anything goes really Android icon. It's whatever you want. So you choose one control C. And then you say, let's try this out and see how it looks. So we have this sep or separator and we go all the way up to number 120, not too far away, not all the way up. So sep. And that's nice. Separator is not in order. That's because of these alarm colors I use. So the alarm color is being triggered. So the background, the format background, that's the alarm color. So basically I forgot something. So let's fix this and it is indeed a tutorial at the same time. So, 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 release. So this is what I need. So let's get that already. Control C and the separator needs to have that as well and save it. And let's have a look. So content foreground, we're missing content foreground. So format content foreground, save and content background, save. Um, okay. All right, Eric. So this has to go, that has to go, and save it again. And something crashed. So you can make this thing crash. So everything still works, super, one, two, three, four. So the workspaces are there, but the polybar has crashed. So let's have a look. Ah, yeah, because things are doubled. So he really hates things that are doubled. So this one is double and had to go. And we need to relaunch our system so no not our system but our launch now we can control x and get out and log in log back in that's the easiest way so let's do the more difficult way <laughs> super f8 let's go to the file itself so polybar launch let's get rid of this one and launch that one and then you see what i mean so here you have it the color is now white and the background is nicer so this is now our separator and that's how we fix little things like that. So this is the content and the content gets a foreground and the content gets a background and that's those things are coming again from all the way up there. So if we have elements, if we have, um, I don't know, um, for instance, we could do, we could do network speed up like so and a separator between it and then where it works like this there you go we have now this this thing here a little separator thing it's not really a separator it's it's something you know um, between two modules you can put it in there all right have fun